Okay, so question seven is just to draw all the products of these following reactions, including all the stereoisomers. So these are just different examples of how one can add bromine to like an alkane. And I'm just going to show uh, what the junior tutor said since you can get very like in depth about it. So free radical halogenation of alkanes with bromine and light or heat produces bromyl alkanes. Free radical halogenation is regioselective and replaces the hydrogen atoms with the halogen in the order of allylic uh, or uh, three degree, two degree, or one degree carbons, and then methyl. This order of reactivity can be predicted on the basis of radical intermediate stabilities, which follow the same order. So depending on the type, I'm just going to write this down. So this is question number seven. So the most stable radicals are your allylic. So this is when it contains a double bond. So for example, if there's a double bond on the carbon beside it, and your radical can just be shown right there. So this is less reactive than if you were to have a like a tertiary i'll just do it in the same format like a three degree radical like this as an example so three degree radicals are more stable than your two degree which can just be in the middle here. One degree will be at the end. And then for methyl, this is just if you have your three hydrogens and a radical on that carbon. So this order of reactivity can be predicted on the basis of radical intermediate stabilities which follow the same order. Radical intermediates are anal an analogous to carbocations in the sense that they are stabilized by the same interactions, namely resonance delocalization and hyperconjugation with attached alkyl groups. When radical halogenation produces a chiral center, or takes place at a hydrogen on an existing chiral center, the product is an equal mixture of R and S and antiomers. Allylic bromination occurs at high temperatures. Heat is the radical initiator using the halogens themselves. Bromination using n bromo succinamide and or NBS is initiated by light. And the mechanism involves a radical chain process with a resonance delocalized allyl radical intermediate. So I'll kind of show like find what like a brief mechanism would look like for when you do a lilic or let's just look at the first example. You can show the movement of one electron just by using 
single arrows like this. And that's how a bromine can be formed. And you're also left with a bromine with another radical. So radicals are when you just have that single electron on your atom. So now if we look at what the junior tutor said with all of the different examples. So for part A, you can see that they included all the different types of uh, products you could possibly get if you reacted the bromine uh, with heat and light. And they just showed both the R and the S configurations. They did the same for butane. Bromine can be at the end, in the middle, with the different configurations. And for NBS, which is the n bromosuccinamide They can either be beside the double bond on one side or at the end here. These are all the different products you could get for D. This is E and finally F. Okay, so everything looks good. So the solution is correct. Thank you.